Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Happy I'm holidays Liz. folks, happy holidays. And happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Lynn. Happy birthday dear Lynn. Happy birthday to Lynn from Rob on tour. Shut up you tart. <laughs> yeah, I, happy just, birthday, I just want to say thank you so so much for all the messages I've had. Uh, I will go into some of the gifts that I've had. Uh, later on when we get there. Yeah, because our actual birthday is today, uh, Thursday. Yes, and even this though, will be going on on Tuesday. Yes. So, yeah, I've had so many comments and messages, so I will try and answer them all as we are driving to Brixham, which is where we are heading. Well, have a guess where we're going first. Tesco. Of course. Yeah, really looking forward to this uh, few Four days. Four days we're going away for. Four days. He's actually put in our windbreak. But it's not a knocking windbreak, it's like a Meccano set windbreak, so that should be funny. Yeah, it'd be so nice to stop in one place for uh, you know, three or four days. It will. Yeah, so uh, we'll get to Tesco's. We'll stock up with... Alcohol. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my bottle of JD. My son, sure. my, uh, our youngest, bought me a bottle of JD last night. And I forgot to bring it, so that means I'm going to have to buy another one. So I've got another one for when I get home. Happy with that. Yeah, the, uh, is this going to stop blowing leaves? I don't know. <laughs> One of the lads that works on the park, even if it's 26 degrees, he's always got his hoodie on and his hood up. Yeah, yeah. no matter what the weather. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Spit it out. I don't know. Oh yeah, we dropped the truck off today, folks. Yes, we have. We've... Uh, I need to swap arms. We took the truck to Ludlow, dropped it into a vehicle repairer, still arguing with us that the sensor that's gone, that where the accident was, has got nothing to do with the reversing camera. I don't know if we've explained that before. But we? we know it has, so I'll Hope, get it sorted. Yeah, the second that the accident happened, all the sensors around the whole vehicle and the reversing camera start working. Yeah, so it's all linked, as far as, far as I'm concerned. But they're still, doing, they're still saying it's got nothing to do with it, it's on a separate loop, but we'll see. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've got the truck for at least a week, so I've got a week off in my little angel. Yeah. I've got my earpods with me, so I can put my book on and listen. Well, that's what Amber got you. Oh no, Amber actually bought me a pair of earbuds to drown the sound out. For when she phones up? No, for when you talk to me. Shocker! So as well as other things yeah so we'll head to tesco stock up on the bits that we need i've got most of the stuff with me but we need alcohol so yeah and then we'll be on our way to brixham happy with that oh whack it folks all right folks that's tesco sorted another 90 quid as good as a 40 of that is alcohol yeah i know we're on holiday everybody has to have a drink on holiday surely well we do anyway Clotted cream, it's actually taking Devonshire, well, Nuki. So is it Cornwall? Nuki it is, isn't it? Yeah, we could have got some of that down there. Yes. Oh well. Yeah. We're taking Cornish clotted cream to Devon. Oh, we should have wheel. Job done. Oh, we've got strawberries as well. That's strawberries and clotted cream. Bloody birthday, girl. Happy birthday to me. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to me. <laughs> oh, that's enough. <laughs> Roll on tomorrow. Uh, I oh know, it's only a day. You moaning old git. Well, we've been going slow for about the past three, four miles, and this is why. Robert reckons it's a boat. Is it a boat? No. What is it then? I haven't got a clue. Bloody just, boat. Just something to slow the traffic down for miles. Yeah, I think it's longer than four miles. Maybe. Maybe 10 miles. Yeah, we've been going slow and I couldn't see anything on the on the maps on my phone to say that there was an accident or slow traffic, but hey ho, we're still on our way. And you're looking very pretty today. Shut up, Robert. Well, it feels like we've been on the road forever. Oh, we have. We've been driving all day. Yeah, well, we've been taking the truck in and everything and I think we've been a bit bored, look, at the suites. Diet starts Monday. Yeah, I don't know which Monday though. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been eating sweets all the way down. What are they? Eat left. Oh, okay. Uh, what are they? What? Those. Eclairs. Chocolate eclairs, that's it. Bloody hell, it says it's a big writing on the packet, look. No, not down that one, down that one. 
No. Yes, look, that's the road. Hang on a sec, that's the road that's going up okay, there. Okay, okay. I see, I don't know if you can see on there. He was going to go on that one there, which isn't a main no, no, road. probably right when we get round here, folks. No, definitely not. There we go, follow the purple line, and I'm right, as usual. So yes, we're in Brixham. Uh, I will put the camera on. It's not very interesting at the moment. We have seen the sea. The roads are oh, shocking. A bit tight. Yeah, that's close. Oh, a boat. <laughs> Let's watch the boat. Chosen by the seaside. That's what we need to do. We need to get a boat and hit the high seas. Yeah, we do know where there's a boat for sale, don't we? But unfortunately, it's in North Carolina. Right, left here, yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll pick you up, people, a little bit closer. Terry Street. The roads are very narrow, as you all know if you've all been anywhere in Devon and Cornwall. Yeah, this is Brixham. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful turquoise house. Yeah, riveting. Oh, it's very pretty. Just like you. Yep, as, as I was just saying, the roads are rather narrow. But yeah, so far so good. Can you tell I've got gritted teeth? Why? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm like. I get a nervous wreck in places like this. The house is painted different colours. We were saying it's been such a long time since we've been here. Our kids were little with me last time we came here. Yes. And we have made it. Welcome to Astley Park. Devon DA, the Caravan and Camping Club Rally. I'm just going to find out how we get on there. Oh, this is we have made it. We have, and the internet should be absolutely amazing because there's the biggest mast on, I've ever seen on the park. Wow, it's a bit tight, isn't it, here? Yeah. As tight as you. Shut up, Prophet. You're the one the tight one. And it's my birthday today. Happy birthday to Liv. So, yeah, we'll check in over here and uh, pick you up in a bit. Right, folks, we're all set up at uh, Brixham RFC. Rugby football. Rugby, Rugby football club? Yeah, that's one. It's been a long day. Oh, we have been has. on the road all day. Yeah, we have. After, like as we said before, dropping the truck off and getting here, and it's just took like six hours in total, hasn't it? Yeah. The older so. you get, you know, well, me, the older I get, the more tired I get driving. But there you go. Yes, and you are looking very pretty. I've smartened up a bit, folks. There you go. There you go. Can you tell we both had a haircut? Yeah. We haven't got much to cut. Yeah, but you? mine costs uh, twelve quid. It's, it's cost hundred. Yes, but as you all know... So you know what I mean? Is it a man's world? I'm beginning to doubt myself. As you all know, Robert has his hair cut every three weeks. I have my hair done month, every few months. No. And mine cost 60 quid this time for some reason, and I don't know why. Anyway. 60 anyway. quid, man. Can you know, I'm going to get an hairdresser shop. Well, start my own business. You'd have to train to be a hairdresser. No, don't, well, don't look like anybody's trained doing yours. <laughs> Rude. Anyway, all the way down, I've been answering your wonderful, wonderful messages. Birthday and messages. Birthday, yeah, wishing me a very happy birthday. Happy birthday and for anybody to Lynn. Happy birthday, dear Lynn. Happy birthday to Lynn from I'm Rob sure. and Nobby on tour. Oh yeah, we forgot about Nobby, didn't we? Yeah, Nobby sent his best wishes. No, oh, he hasn't. He hasn't said anything on uh, Instagram or Facebook. No, right? he likes to stay anonymous. Ah, right. Okay. Yes, so I do apologise for anybody that I haven't uh, responded to. I have tried to do it to all of you. But thank you again for all the lovely birthday wishes. And I've got a few of my cards that I've brought down from home. Um, I've got to show you this. What, what, Go on, then. Hang, hang on. Anytime today, love. I've got work on Tuesday. Um, Bloody hell. Jen and Craig. Jen and Craig. And they've bought me. Where is it? You know, I still can't get over what Craig said about Karina, but no, that's, that's, another, that's, that's another, another matter. Story, yeah. 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 Happy happy birthday, plant lady. Tillian, happy birthday. We hope you have a great day. Love from Craig and Jen. And she's bought me a bonsai kit. Has anybody ever had one of these? Because you have to put the things 
in the fridge for three to six weeks. You didn't look into that one, did you? Well, I hope I don't pull it out by mistake and put it no. on my sandwiches. It looks really interesting, so I can't wait to give that a go. What um, is it? Let's have a look. The bonsai growing kit. I've had a lovely plant from Jill and Gary. Keep that one. Who are they? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the great card of Trevor and Luz. Yeah, Trevor and Luz. Look at that. That's good, isn't it? <sighs> uh, but the only thing about this card is I'm not on it. It's nothing to do. It's it's my birthday. Yeah, no, but we share birthdays, don't we? Who's the birthday princess? Oh, that's not for me. Not to wife, not to the one I love. And inside, he has written, you are. Have a magical day. Love you loads. Happy birthday to you from me. Sure. It's a child's card for a start. Well, I think it's a beautiful card, people. I don't know what you think. And I'll tell you something else, men, as well. If you want a cheap birthday card, go in B&M. One pound bargain. I should have written it in pencil though and I could have rubbed it out and used it for next I'm year sure as well. I'm sure you said that last year. Uh, that one is off Jill and Gary. It came with my beautiful money tree plants. You're not very happy are you that I get more plants? <sighs> Bloody uh, plants. Dear Lynn, hope you have a very happy birthday. Lots of love from Jill Gary the Welsh Chef Eyes. I don't know what that means. Does anybody? Look how small that card is. How tight are they? She, no, she, you've seen my beautiful money tree. Yeah, that... but they pinch that. Look at that. And... Um, like more cards are bigger, Jill and Gary. I've had some wonderful presents as well. I haven't bought too many with What's me. What's that called? The, but I've had, I've bought the one with me that I absolutely love, one of them. <sighs> right. The card. The lady who sent it, mate, will know who's that off. Amber? But she's cooked, she's changed it. She said, sometimes you have to throw on a crown and remind Rob of who he's dealing with. And with that, she has sent me a pair of earplugs to drown his sound out. Then she has sent me... I mean, you know, that's, this is the woman who phones us up for a quick chat <gasps> and doesn't stop talking for three hours. So they'll come in useful for something else as well, won't they? Yeah. Uh, a lovely face mask and some double wear Estee Lauder foundation. So thank you all so, so, so much. Hang on, go and get my uh, birthday present off for you. No. Yes. I can't show it then, Robert. It's huge. Yeah, I bought you a nice uh, Do you want me a dress? dress that I'm going to try and wear over this weekend, but it's... Uh, 35 quid, bloody hell. Oh, gosh. 35 That's quid for a I'm bloody worth. dress. Hey? Yeah, and you bought me some lipstick and some perfume and some other stuff. So, yes, he's done He's done quite well this year. Tell him what I uh, did for you earlier. Yeah, when we got here, he cooked me a burger. Homemade? No, it wasn't. It was homemade from Tesco? A, a Wagyu from Tesco. Best burgers. Oh, think. so nice. Seven minutes each side. Perfect. Yeah, put some cheese Because I like it crisp on top and like nice and juicy in the middle. A bit like me old bird. Crisp on top and juicy in the middle. I don't know why I said that. No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, yes, we're... Uh, oh, I'm excited! You can't beat me in Brixham. We're Beautiful. Pro we're probably not going to do much for the rest of the day uh, because it's getting on. Yeah. And uh, But we're going into Brixham tomorrow. <sighs> When we got here, they go, because you can't drink the water in Brixham because they've got a problem with the water, apparently. Yes. So, so they give you two of these when you pull up. A lot and I dare say you can go and get some more for somewhere. No. Huh? There are, there are, we passed it as we, as we drove in. You've got a uh, collection stations for water. But where we are parked, apparently, the it, it's not the reservoir where they've had the problem. But in advance, we filled the motorhome up full of water. I've bought lots of water anyway. And they've given us two bottles. The only thing we're concerned about is going out and having a coffee. Don't have a coffee. No. Simple. You Save just, some more money. He's just trying to be tight. And then you wanted no, a, then you wanted a crab sandwich, but then you're worried about them washing the crab, aren't you? Yeah, so it's best just to go out and have a lovely walk and don't spend any money. No, we'll uh, we'll find something to eat and drink tomorrow. So yes, we will uh, see you in the morning. Yeah. Happy holidays, folks. You're pretty little. <laughs> Right, folks, before we go any further, we just got a couple of shout outs which you will do quickly, and it is Julie Borton. Julie uh, Borton. Uh, she's put, Hi, have a lovely birthday, Lynn. I hope you swells you deserve it when you're next to your vlog on Tuesday. Would you be able to wish my partner, Steve, a very happy 60th birthday for Wednesday, the 12th of June? So, very happy birthday to Steve. Steve. Happy birthday to Steve. Happy birthday, dear Steve. Happy birthday to Steve from Rob and Lynn on tour. 
And another one, Sarah Woods. She's put hi. Sarah Woods. Hi guys, me and my husband Sean have been watching you your channel for ages. Sean is 60 on Tuesday the 11th of June. I wondered if you could give him a shout out for his birthday. He's definitely uh, he definitely has a similar sense of humour to Rob. Must be an age thing. What's your name, Sean? Sean. Uh he's thinking of treating him to a trip to Iceland as it's ten percent off for over sixties. Oh, I'm happy with that. No, she means a shop Iceland. We no, get the frozen doesn't. food from. No, she does. Good idea. Anyway, happy birthday to Sean. Happy birthday, dear Sean. Happy birthday to Sean from Rob and Lynn on tour. You're singing. What a voice. voice. What a voice. Right, in a bit. So, so, this is where we are. We are at Astley Park, the home of Brixham Royal Football Club. There you go, folks. Perfect. And they have told us we can use the toilets and showers and also we can go in the bar. Not that Robert's going to pay the prices. Well, I might do. If I run out of uh, gin, I might go in that point. I like a point. So we're just taking a little stroll before we go into Ripton just to take the dogs for a quick walk because it's too hot for and too far for Dutch to walk. Yeah, she struggles to be honest now. We were talking about this the other night, she's losing that much weight. And the back legs are starting to go. Yeah, keeps falling over, so, you know. We know, we know. So we know it's close. Yeah, she hasn't got long left. But, you know, she's still eating and drinking, that's the main thing. Brixham FC. Come on, Brixham. Yet again, while we're out walking about, I've just found another picture of me and Lynn. Oh. There it is, look. Everywhere we go. Even in Brixham. <laughs> and look at that, folks, directly in front of us. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It probably won't, but it's the beautiful harbour town of Brixham. Well. Why go abroad, eh? Well, you wouldn't get a Land Rover stopping right by you, would you? The bloody Land Rover just pulled up right by us. Uh, yeah, man, is, what a beautiful place. If you are, if you do have any mobility issues, I would suggest you can get the bus from right outside the rugby club yeah. to into Brixham and back because this hill is rather steep. Rather steep on the way back, easy on the way down, well, yeah. Well, it's easy on the way down. I don't like going downhill or uphill, actually. I like doing flat. I mean, look at this, it's so steep. Motor and park there, look. Wow, folks, just look at it. The Golden Hind uh, boat. What's it called? Uh, galleon. Is it? A galleon down there? Wow. A rare occasion has just happened, folks. She's got, got hold of my hand. There, look. Yeah, I look at that before, Lynn. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Trollerman painted on the building. Happy with that, and of course, Lynn has got to take a photograph for Instagram and Facebook. Pretty in pink. Peach. Pink? Come here, oh my hand. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, because it's really steep and uneven. So if I go, you're coming with me. You don't want me to fall on top of you, do you? Oh, God, no. Mind you, I have lost a couple of stone in weight, to be honest, folks. Since I've been reviewing e bikes, I'm getting proper ripped. No, you're not. Shut up. Like, she just sit there and let the throttle do the work. Shut up. Oh, man. Got to do a slight r sharp right. It's, I don't like going downhill. Especially Come here, I've got you. I've don't got, worry. Don't hold my wrist. I always hold a wrist, you know, does okay. irritate her. If you grab her like that, there, look. Like that. She doesn't like it. I think it's this way. Is it a sharp right turn, but it don't look right. No, don't look right. Now you can see why we've been recommended to take the bus, catch the bus back, because. Yeah, this is another road. It's bad enough walking down and about up. I'm going to end up like this bloke here. If you don't start feeding me. You could last for a year before you ended up like that. Should we give it to put it to the test? No. I think so. I think they've got a problem with seagulls here. Jesus Christ, a blast in his van. We were just saying, look at this. Picture perfect. 
I love, and it, you get it in a lot of seaside towns, and we also saw it in Gibraltar, didn't we? They paint the houses different colours, and it looks so pretty. They're not different colours, they're pink. Yellow, green, orange, grey, turquoise, oh. Oh, blue. Yeah. yeah, they are, yeah. We can taste the... Uh, salt. Salt on your lips. Who is that? <clears throat> Idiot. Beautiful Brixham. One thing we just noticed, which I think is unusual, there's a swan in the sea. It's not in the sea though, is he? It? Well, it's part, it's a harbour. Well, it's part it, of the sea. I is thought, it salt water? Yeah, you know, I thought they were just freshwater birds. Yeah. Over there, look. If the camera will pick it up, it's over there. Yeah. You learn something every day. Where are you going? I'm just going to take a picture of it, as I do. The Mayflower Garden Anchor. Three ton anchor is dated between 1860 and 1865. It was found here in the bay and is of a design known as Trotman after its inventor's name. It's not known which vessel it came from. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, nice, sir. Well, very well kept. The truck created by the Pride in Brixham volunteers. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Now, obviously, they do a lot of uh, boat trips in Brixham. Yes, they do. But unfortunately, we can't because we've got the dogs back in the van. And we don't like leaving them too long, do we? No, we don't. Bless the little cotton socks. No, fairy paws. So, I thought we could do a competition one of the days. What's that? We'll do crabbing. Crabbing? Yeah, but what do you do with them when you've got them? Just chuck a lob them back over? No, you eat them. Oof, no. I'll bring my pen knife, we'll gut them and eat them. We'll have a competition, see who can catch the most. I'll just pop to the, the fishmongers and buy a few. Happy bloody holidays. Hello. 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 All right. We've been spotted, folks. Yeah, yeah there's like uh, another garden area down here, which has uh, been, been very well keep, kept by volunteers. And there's a little fisherman in there, look. Very nice. She ain't that small. We've been spotted again. Come on, Lee, let's go. <laughs> We've just come across a random mermaid. There's the old bird over there. They're a nice couple, weren't they? Yes, they were. We've met two lovely couples just. Yeah, they're stopping at... Uh... Both stopping at Hill Head, where we stopped for the Eclipse. Yeah. One and... was from Birmingham, a couple, and where were the other couple from? I forgot. Lobs and Torstall in Cornwall. Oh, yeah. Uh... I'll go to you again. Yeah, because the great place about Brixham as well, you can catch the bus to other bays. So they are stopping at Hill... Hill... What is it? Hill Hillhead. 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 Yeah, so you can get on, jump on the bus because the buses are right outside most of the side, so that's I don't good. Think there is round there. That's right up in on the mid, on top of a hill. Yeah, there is. Are we passed it on the way in. No, they haven't come in the car. You just said we got the bus. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, she doesn't listen, see. Why oh, is there a shepherd's hut over there? Where? Where? No idea. Oh, over there. Yeah, it's a boat, isn't it's it? A boat? It's a boat. I've just took a photo of it. It's like a little pod on floats. And I was just waiting to see if the uh, lifeboat was going out. It's not. Just started his engine. Should we go for a swim? Definitely not, it's freezing. <laughs> There's a lady actually swimming in it. I'm just taking you down to show you how clear the water is. It's beautiful, yeah, it really is beautiful. How clear the water is. Wait. She's over there swimming. Min's having a rest up there because of her little legs. They're worn out. Yeah, it really is a beautiful place. We've been stopped again, folks. So we've come up across the harbour and we are by uh, the Brixham Embarkment, Embarkshan mural. 
I've, but I've got all the information here. Yeah. So be prepared for after and I'll sit you down with my bits of paper. So it's when the landing crafts uh, beached here, wasn't it? Apparently, Brixham slipway. There you go. The history. But don't worry. I'll, I'll let I'll fill you all in later. So get your cups of tea ready. She's got a bit of paper. Now you know this couple behind me, they keep following us. <laughs> the stalkers. The stalkers. <laughs> oh, that's similar. How beautiful is that? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Overlooking the beautiful harbour. Or marina. See you later. See you later. Bye. Nice couple. That's the third couple we've met since we've been in Brixham that watch us. Yeah, and that's the third couple we've met who are stopping at Hillhead. Hillhead. So it must be a popular site. There you go. <sighs> Brixham Art Arts and Theatre Society. When? One of the interesting facts that I've seen was you notice when we were walking through coming into Brixton, how small the, like, the roads are, and uh, it's, it explains to all in here that the, a lot of houses had to be demolished to get the Sherman tanks through and so they could turn, so they had to demolish houses to get the tanks through. How about that? <laughs> it's right though, isn't it? I mean, they're massive, aren't they? The streets are so tiny. Yeah. Beautiful place. If you live in Brixham, you are very lucky because it's bang on. Are you coming? Yes, and I just wanted to say that the three couples I've met have all said the same thing. I'm not as small as you try and make me out that I am. Can't no, that. no, that's yes. right. They did say that, yes. But they did, they did say to me on the quiet, she does look a bit wider than she does in real. How rude. I <laughs> can't believe what you just said to me. Yes, we've just walked past the RNLI station and there's a, a billboard outside and it said float to live. If you ever find yourself unexpectedly in the water, it's easier to float and you'll survive longer. And I said, it would have to be a hell of a salty water to keep him up, up afloat. The higher density the salt, the more you'll float. And the higher density of the person, you'll sink. So you'll, you definitely sink. Nah, look at that for a beautiful view. You've got a problem you have. What time is it? Time of your life. It's nearly quarter to one. Cold river. It was a time of her life when she met me. Shut up, Robert. What is it? Cold river? Sharp's cold river cider. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. It's not as nice as Hawkston, it's nice. <sighs> Bloody tink, we're gone again, folks. Get used to it, it's birthday weekend. <laughs> you are looking pretty in pink. Peach. Pink. Peach. I've just been abused, people. Yes. We'll tell you about it later on. Is she gone? <laughs> There's a, a lady been up the bar stroking his back. Yeah. <laughs> Miss misidentification. She thought he was her husband or partner. But I'm good looking, her husband isn't. Hmm. She's hiding now. Shocking. <laughs> there she is over there. Look. There she is. I think you should go. Unbelievable. And there's another strange couple following us about. Betty and Al. Betty and Al. <laughs> she doesn't look like a Betty. I thought she was going to be 90. <laughs> does, she, does she look like a Betty, folks? <laughs> she looks like an Elizabeth. I mean, Liz. She looks a bit dodgy to me. <laughs> Costing us a fortune. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting outside the Prince William. The Willy. The, the willy as they call it, the locals, and you've got these wonderful people down here singing, which I'll show you now because there's always an activity going on, on at this pub apparently. Thank you. Thank you. We're missing tackle from Brixham. Hey. Thank you. Uh, and we're here as part of the D-Day commemoration events taking place here in the town. Uh, our next song became famous during lockdown. It was um, brought to everybody's attention by a, a Scottish postman, Nathan Evans, and it's the Weller Man. So do join in with us. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew up about it, bound or blow me, bully boys blow. Ha! Soon may the Weller Man cross the 
We're sitting here, people, minding our own business. Yeah. And there's another one popped and another up. Another one popped Hello! up. <laughs> and her husband, but he's bought me a pint, so yeah. Yeah. And he's bought That's me one as well, so I'm really happy result. about that. <laughs> the result, yeah. The result. I hope he's got plenty of money on to have one after. <laughs> he's got pork scratches. There you though. go. Oh, you got a lot of yeah. in time. Oh, I love can, that Can lot. you explain yourself what you've been doing, my I'm husband? I'm so sorry. I went to the bar. I went to the toilet. I thought my husband was waiting for his pint. And my, my ice in my wine. And then I came back and I touched this guy's arse in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and I turned around and I realised it wasn't my husband. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, but then she came back for some more. It was a shade of blue. <laughs> it was. I turned around and I thought, oh my God. <laughs> I would have died and then my husband turned me off him because I swore when I came back out. <laughs> That's where he is, look, he's got a different colour top on, he looks fluffy like me. <laughs> and then she was standing up. <laughs> I had my sunglasses. <laughs> this is what we have to put up with. Unbelievable. Right ladies, this is the best toilet block I've ever been in. It's not a toilet block actually, it's in a pot. I'm going to shut the door. Toilet, sink, dryer, and soap. How awesome is that? Every pub should have one. Oh my god. Right, folks. Falling's special birthday bash. These lovely people here. Ching ching. Well, not that one. No. <laughs> Elizabeth Betty. Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth. Look at her. So, what is it? Stop. It's a baby it? Guinness. It's a baby Guinness. It's a baby Guinness. Baby Guinness. Which is. Yes. Yes. Which is Kahlua and Bailey. Baileys. Now I've never had one of these in my life. That's what Ching she said. <laughs> Happy Cheers. birthday, Lynn. Happy birthday, Happy Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Lynn. And I've Thank got you for being so lovely. So, so oh, I've heard you. a lot of things about this, so let's try it. Dine it in one. And okay. I'm on the JD and Coke. Mm. Down in one. Down really in lovely. one. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice, isn't it? Oh, that's mm. nice. That's good. What did you think, Rob? Oh, yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. It's gorgeous. It just isn't it? tastes just like babies to me. Yes, yeah, lovely. lovely, isn't it? Yeah. With a bit of a chocolatey. Yeah. yeah. Look at the state of and the, be right. and the best thing about that, folks, it was free. Free! <laughs> well. It is now, people. What time is it? Ten past six. Ten past six. And we've met two couples. Lovely couples. Up. Well, we think they are, I can't remember. So, we've arranged to get some food. They've, bought, we... they've actually brought us back all the way from Brixham, which is probably a Three mile. Three minutes away. And it took them 40 minutes to get back. Yes. I think they took and they are locals. Yeah, but they have, I think they took a few wrong turns. And I've got my top on. Oh, for God's sake, you look like a tangerine again. So yeah, I think we're going to get some food, hopefully, because I need food. We've been drinking all afternoon. You have? I haven't. Uh, I think your eyes are telling a different story. No, I've got hay fever. No, we've been drinking all afternoon, but it's been a great afternoon. Yeah, we have met, uh, I don't know, three or Two, four great four, couples. Six, eight couples. Yeah, yeah. And it's been uh, it's been amazing. Yeah, it really, really, really has. Brixham's amazing. The atmosphere's amazing. The pic, it's The so... weather is amazing. Oh, I don't know. I've gone a bit chilly now. But, bit chilly yeah. around the old willy, folks. Yeah, we've... Uh, it's been a really, really, really good afternoon. And here's to a good evening. And he hasn't done me a drink, so I'll do you cheers with his drink. On bloody believable. Cheers, folks. Happy holidays. Here's my drink. You can't whack it. Where's my drink? In the bottle. How bad's that? It's birthday no. eve plus one. No, your birthday's over. Finished, gone. It's D-Day plus one. Birthday plus one. But the great birthday's coming up, folks. So stay tuned. Oh, unbelievable. Then I think they're going. Are they? Bloody hell, thank God for that, folks. <laughs> Jeez, they followed us, they stalked us. Yeah, I did, didn't I? And now they're just packing their bags. <laughs> we just got two more to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> and this one here. I ain't going nowhere. Well. And before we wrap this one up, folks, Lynn wants to show her new beautiful dress 
And this isn't the one that you bought me. This is the one our lovely friends Karen, Rod and Livy Hall bought me for my birthday. And I absolutely love it. So Yes, beautiful. Thank you. And talking of Rod and... What's her name? Karen. Karen. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Uh, happy, happy 10th anniversary to you both. I hope you have an absolutely amazing anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary both. And thank you so much for spoiling my little princess. Yeah. And just to finish the vlog off, we've got a few photos uh, of our lovely subscribers in their Dementia, Rise Against Dementia t-shirts. Mm. I hope you enjoyed that folks thank you for all those who are supporting our charity it yes. is much appreciated please any anybody who's got our t-shirts please send us a photo if you'd like to go on one of our vlogs yes so all that note people we'll say farewells so stay safe for the caravan as motor owners tend to be for scars on you we still love you we do thank you so much for watching we will see you on the next one in a bit mm -hmm.